Hi, it's Camille from Chicken Scratch and Sniff. Today we're going to talk about more ideas for how to teach Gordon B. Hinckley Chapter 3, which is all about optimism and having that great spirit of positivity. It's a great chapter. There's lots more ideas up on the blog, cknscratch.com, and you go to the Gordon B. Hinckley tab and find the Chapter 3. There's lots of ideas there. Just keep scrolling, and I'll put this video up there after we're all done, too, so you can watch it again if you need to. Now, I have four more ideas for you today. The first one is talks about fears. And in that chapter, it says we need to fight our fears with faith. And so this kind of object lesson popped into my head, and maybe you can use it. I have these, you know, scary dinosaur bugs, things that might represent our fears. And as you teach, you can talk to your class about what some of the fears that they have, just about life in general. Um, a lot of people might be worried about um, safe driving or <clears throat> having a job next week. Those, those types of real fears, okay? And what happens, what we're going to do is I also have these blocks. And for the beginning, we're going to put our fears on top of the blocks. And it covers them up. And what, the, what happens, what the blocks represent is actually our joy. And so our fears are covering up our joy so that we can't feel it. And obviously that's not the way it's meant to be. So to demonstrate one way that you can get out from your fears and um, use your faith is demonstrate it with these post-it things. I, I put this as another idea with these post-its. So again, use these post-its. There's scriptures on here. You can just print them out. You can print them on regular paper and then cut them up into squares. That's fine. I just like the easy stickiness. And so you can put the scriptures onto the blocks. And you can read those scriptures or have other sisters and brothers in the room read the scriptures um, to the class. This one is in John 16, 33. And it talks about how you, in the world you shall have tribu tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. And you can discuss that chip scripture, but what we do is we immerse ourselves in this um, faith-inspiring testimony strength in scriptures, then it goes on top of our fears. And so instead of letting our fears control our joy, our joy and our faith cover up our fears. Because what happens is faith is really a lack of, I mean, fear is really a lack of faith. And so joy comes from our faith. So we have to cover up our fears with our joy. So you can talk more about that. That's just a quick little demonstration. Um, and you've one, one more thought about um, joy coming from faith. In that scripture, it says hope leads to faith and faith leads to charity. And and that's a, a joyful process right there. So we have to have that hope and that faith and that joy in order to conquer these things. Okay, number two. This one kind of requires a little bit more courage. So we'll see how courageous you are. But you can dress up if you really want to go for it. Or just use a few pops. That's okay too. But um, if you, this is like for the beginning of the lesson. Where it talks about how, you know, stop seeking out the storms but seek more fully the sunlight. That was a great quote from President Hinckley. And I know a lot of us know that because it's always repeated throughout social media. But um, one of the thoughts I have is, are we lassoing those storms closer? So get yourself a rope or a lasso if you have one and put on like a coat, mittens, get your umbrella out and have it with you. Ah, this one's broken. <laughs> have it with you as you start your lesson and obviously you're gonna look goofy that's the whole point but you are indoors and you have all this gear on and you're preparing for these awful storms when obviously you're inside it's not gonna rain on you inside as long as the roof over your head is stable right and so that's the point is that we let some of these fears and we almost compete about the difficulties in our lives sometimes. One time I get into a room full of young women 
And it was like they were competing about who had the worst life. Like, what kind of competition is that? I don't want to win that kind of competition, right? It's like we have to have the toughest life in order to justify our failings because none of us is perfect. And if we have the hardest life, well, then my imperfections must be okay. But you guys, we're going to be imperfect. And that's, you know, we're here on earth still. I didn't get twinkled yet. Neither did you. We're still here. So we're not perfect. And we don't need to compete over who has the most difficult life. We don't need to lasso. So this is when you would have your rope. You don't need to lasso those storm clouds closer to you. I mean, are you bringing the troubles into your lives? Because it's like, that's the only way I can get the attention and the help that I need. Because it's not true. You can get just as much help in good times as you can in bad times. It's going to be different types of help, but it doesn't mean you can't ask for it. And you don't need to bring those storm clouds into your lives. Lasso the sun instead and push those storm clouds out. So you could take off the umbrella and the coat and the mittens and um, be in your regular gear at this point and talk about how it's okay to be in the sunlight. That's the place we want to be. And we can be there together and still help each other and not compete and compare our difficulties, but lift each other up and enjoy each other's happiness. Okay, so that's idea number two. Number three is, it talks about um, how we live in the fullness of times and we, have the, we can have the fullness of joy in this life because of the restoration. We have the fullness of times so and that's every single reason to be happy. And so one of the ideas when you get discouraged and you can do this as a class and you can hand out kind of sheets for this, is instead of making just a gratitude list, but make a gratitude list about faith. So a faith-filled gratitude list. For example, instead of, I would put, I am grateful that I know that families can be together forever. I am grateful that I know that Jesus Christ atoned for my sins. And I would write basically my testimony, but things that I'm grateful for about my testimony on this list to help me switch gears from this negative, pessimistic attitude into a optimistic, positive attitude. And that's one way that we can definitely flip our lives around every single day. And um, <clears throat> it's so funny because we, oh, hold on, I'm going to get ahead of myself, so I'm going to stop there, okay? So, idea number three, make a gratitude list that's based on faith and testimony, and let that change your pessimism to optimism, okay? Idea number four. In the very beginning of the manual, it says, you are in charge of your happiness. You guys, we are in charge of our own happiness, and one of the things that we do, because we're human and we're not perfect is we immediately start to blame other people if we're not happy and you guys kids are notorious for this so they're a great example you know if they don't do um if they don't make a right choice they're gonna say well my sister she made me do this and and my brother they woke me up early and da 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 da, da. you know they play the blame game big time right kids do that because we're just as bad. We do that too. We don't let, we don't take responsibility for our own, own happiness. And we need to. We need to take responsibility for our happiness because then we can be happy anytime that we want and have that joy and that positive outlook. And so you're in charge of your own optimistic outlook. And don't, here's an example of how adults do it a lot is, um, well, next week when we're not doing basketball practice and so-and-so gets their cast off, then I can breathe and life will be good and I can deal. Well, <laughs> that's true. It's great that you can breathe next week, but you need to breathe this week too. And you can be just as happy this week as you can be next week. So don't keep 